I'm gonna give you a bag of VHQ 995, my price is 650. 650? They don't have fashion floor, my prices. <laughs> okay, they don't I have the stock and they don't have the looks. That's why I'm here. Mrs. B How runs the largest, mm -hmm. the most successful retail furniture store in the country. Sales last year alone were over $125 million. I'm the best operator, not I'm bragging in the country with common sense. I don't know education, books, percentage. I use the old fashioned way, tell the truth, buy right, sell cheap. Buying cheap and selling cheap did not endear Mrs. B to Nebraska businessmen. They boycotted her for decades and so did their suppliers and their bankers. I sell to cheap. I went to the bank, loan $100, they wouldn't. I sell to cheap. So I got mad and I said to that guy, you're gonna work the rest of your life for $75 a week. And my kids, each one will have a car in the garage. How do you feel about the people who didn't sell to you in the beginning? I still hate it. You know, the, anybody that does you dirty, you should never forgive and forget. She not only got even, she got rich. In 1983, she sold a 90% share in her store. The buyer, self-made Nebraska billionaire Warren Buffett. The price, $55 million. If I could start a business, and I had first draft pick, like in the NFL, of the 25 top graduates of, of the top business schools in the country, and the 25 picks from the top CEOs of the Fortune 500, or I could take Mrs. B to run the business, I'd take Mrs. B. There aren't any other Mrs. Bs. And there is nothing like the Nebraska Furniture Mart. It has to be seen to be believed. It is tremendous. It stretches north, south, east, and west, covering over 40 acres. And its low prices have wiped out the competition. Her store is the realization of a vow spoken long ago. Mrs. B has never forgotten her mother's desperate struggle. One night, I woke up 6 o'clock. She was mixing bread. I said, I can't stand that you work awful hard. When I'll grow up, I'll go to a big town and find a job, make money, and go to America. And she came full of nerve and energy. It's Mrs. B's 92nd birthday at Nebraska Furniture Mart. Nothing at 92, it's still all there. Something that they'll remember for a long time. I hope till the next birthday they'll still remember the bugs. Even though Mrs. B no longer owns the store, she still puts in over 70 hours a week, working all seven days and three nights. And vacation is a dirty word. Her daughter Frances puts it another way. It's oxygen for her. It's, and it's that, it's that channel, and she's like, a, she's like a fighter in the ring, and she likes to spar, and she likes to negotiate. The customer was God. That came first, and we came next. Do you have any advice to somebody who would want it, who wants to start their own business? Honey, how can you give an advice? Anybody? I got 640 people working in the store. Some of them don't know how to figure two and two is. They have to have the computer. You can't give advice. Everything is in you. God bless me. I had a talent. Anything I done, I made money.